being a speaker like me. I am gonna blow your mind. Who else will you be able to help? Because this coach posed that question to me of, why do you want to play basketball? And it was simple. Because one day I want to help Mary and Joe Bailey get out of the hood. Because I want to hopefully help them to have a better life. And because of that, you know what? Can't quit. Times get hard, can't quit. I'm in pain, can't quit. People are negative to me, can't quit. Because if I quit on me, I quit on them. Who are you fighting for? Every day when you go to that office, Every day when you're on those phones, you're sending those emails, you have your meetings, you're, you're out and, and talking, knocking on doors. Who else are you representing? Obviously, you're representing the brand, fantastic. Your teammates, amazing. Yourself, great. But longevity-wise, if you can be better today than you were yesterday, who else can you bring along? Because if you don't, if you don't do that, you'll get to be my age, 62 years of age, and you'll look back at your life and you will say to yourself, man, wasted opportunity, wasted time. So I said to my coach, coach, I want to do this. Six months later, I played my first game. I scored 73 points by myself. It was amazing. I played my first game. My coach said, oh, Eric, unbelievable. He says, guess what? I was like, what, coach? He says, in order for you to take that to the next level, there are three things that you have to do. Three things that you have to do. And I want to pass on the three things that he told me that I had to do. And I want you to write these three things down. And I want you to think about how can you adopt these three things into your life. I think I've already told you before. Number one, curiosity. You got to be curious. You got to be curious about how you're going to get better. Curious about how you're going to make strides to become a better agent, a better parent, a better son. You got to be curious as to know, you know what, no matter what's out there, whether it's it's chat or AI or whatever it is. I got to find out what I can do to improve my business. You gotta be, and number two, you got to be courageous. What does courageous mean? It means do some things that you never thought you would do so that you could have a better result. And sometimes those courageous actions that you take, they are scary. Anybody here ever been scared before? Who's been scared before? It's daunting, but guess what? Once you do it once, wow, you build up a tolerance for fear. And you can do it again. And the last one, commitment. How committed are you? I was reading an article a couple months ago in a magazine, it was talking about an expert. An expert is someone who's put in 10,000 hours, 10,000 hours into the craft. And once you're an expert at what you do, then guess what? There should be no fear because you know you're good at what you do. So my coach said you have to come to practice every morning at 5 a.m. After school, you're going to practice at 5 p.m. During the day, you're not going to miss any classes. There's a study hall at lunchtime, study hall after school. And on practice, you're going to train for six hours. And I said to him, Coach, that's a little bit excessive. Come on, dude. Can I watch Felix the Cat? Oh, sorry. That's, that's, that's an old reference. 
And I said, Coach, like, like seriously, like, I just want to have fun. He asked me a question, you'd rather have fun now or have fun later? Because you're having fun later, that means you've done some good things. I bought into all of that and became a high school basketball player, All-American. At 17, what's your name, man? Matt, how you doing, dog? We've never met before, have we? Right, so let me tell you something, Matt. At 17 years of age, after my rigorous training, I was six foot seven, 219 pounds, chiseled stone. I did not have a six pack, I had a 16 pack up in here. I did not have biceps, I had boulders, pow, pow. And unfortunately, Matt, you got nothing at all. So let me tell you something. I'm just playing. Don't cry, man. Don't cry. Just hang with me. Just hang with me. So let me tell you something. I signed up for it. I signed up for it. It was uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable. Some days I woke up and said, why am I doing this? But each week, I begin to see something. Small improvement. Small improvement in what I was doing, but also habit forming. It became a habit. Who blinks in here? Anybody blink? Does anybody blink? Let me ask you this question. Does anybody here go to blink school? Like you go to school and they say, right, we're going to teach you how to blink. Who, does anybody breathe? Do you know why you do that? Because it's a habit. And you don't think about it. It's subconscious. And that's the way your work habits need to be if you want to improve. And I got so good at basketball that I got a scholarship to Boise State University. Are you confident? Are you curious? And are you committed?